go to Bethlehem and see the thing that the Lord has told us about. They glorified and praised God for all the things they had heard and seen, and all who heard it were amazed. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. Joseph and Mary took Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping what, what is said in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When, he, when, the, when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him, and what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God. Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. In my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have appeared in the sight of all people, a light for the revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. The child's father, father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is, this child is just because the falling and rising of many in, many in Israel. And to be a sign that will be spoken against so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too.
Behold, I am coming soon. Blessed is he who keeps the words of the prophecy in this book. after having been here yesterday for about three hours watching them practice, that God's grace was abundant today. <laughs> you all did an excellent job. Thank you so much. Uh, where's Miss Jessica? Jessica? Jessica, come on, come on up. There was, um, those of you who have been around a while know that the, the way that this story was told this year was a little bit different in years past. We have a slightly different script and a lot of music that we didn't have before. So the job of coordinating all this was particularly more difficult this year. And Jessica, we just want to say thank you so much. I'd like to close by uh, leading all of us in prayer. And then parents, if you haven't gotten the pictures that you'd like to take yet, we would encourage you to come right on down here. The kids are going to stay on the stage for a few minutes. Right? Yep, we're going to stay here. And parents, you can come on down and take the pictures that you'd like. Let's pray together. God, we do thank you for Jesus Christ. With how many more words this morning could we thank you for all that you did for us through his birth? We do pray that you'd help us to remember that Jesus not only was this baby, but he was the savior of the world the day that he came as that baby, and his desire is to be the Lord of our life for the rest of our life. Remind us this Christmas season of these truths, and thank you for the chance today to remember it in a special way. Jesus, we love you, and we want to honor you with our lives. In your name we pray, amen. Have a blessed week and a blessed Christmas season.